it's Barton here from Lung and Sleep. I've got an interesting case for you here of a lady who had a uterine cancer that in a very unusual situation had metastasized to her lung and presented with an endobronchial lesion causing some obstruction. So I'll show you the CT and how I went about resecting this from an endobronchial approach to relieve the obstruction. So this is her CT scan and immediately you can see that on the right side there's volume loss. If we scroll down we can have a look at the airways. We can see the trachea is nice and patent there. There's branching into the left and right main bronchus. Here's the right upper lobe coming off here and as we come down we can see in the distal bronchus intermedius is a obstructing lesion here filling the lumen of the airway extending into the right middle lobe a bit there as well and you can see that there's some collapse an endobronchial abnormality with some distal bronchiectasis in the right lower lobe and also in the right middle lobe I suspect that this is what's causing the volume loss and it certainly looks as if there is abnormality here which is endobronchial in the setting of having malignancy in the past a metastasis is of high concern but this could also give you this appearance could also be from mucus plugging so we really need to perform bronchoscopy to have a look so I decided to do this with a rigid bronchoscope to be prepared if there is tumor to be able to resect that away here's the rigid bronchoscope being intubated and you can see the epiglottis there and I'll just lift up the epiglottis with the bevel of the rigid scope to expose the vocal cords and once I can see the vocal cords I rotate the rigid scope 90 degrees to be able to get through the cords into the trachea. So now I can rotate again 90 degrees so the bevel is posterior and I can advance down the trachea and see the main carina there. I'm now using a flexible bronchoscope through the rigid to be able to get a really nice view of the airways. And here's the right main bronchus and there's the right upper lobe which looks clear, just a little bit of mucus there. And there you can see a tumour with areas of necrosis almost completely obstructing the lower lobe and probably partially blocking the right middle lobe consistent with what we saw on the CT. Here I'm going to use an electrocautery diathermy loop. I'm going to loop it around the endobronchial component of the tumour to try and snare it off. So once I can get that loop around a lot of the tumour I'll then be able to apply an electrical current to cut through it which will also coagulate at the same time. So it's a nice technique to be able to resect endobronchial tumors, which can be quite vascular. You can see there's just a little bit of bleeding there at the moment. As I try and get that loop around it to be able to resect it off the airway wall. The loop is around now, I'm just applying an electrical current and it should be able to cut through it. Now I'll go back to the lesion which has been resected and I'll use a cryoprobe to grab onto the tumour which should now come free. The cryoprobe sticks to it, it freezes very quickly. You can see it'll freeze now, it'll stick to the tumour and then I'll be able to remove it out through the rigid bronchoscope. And that's a really nice way to remove a large portion of that tumour. We'll just put it into formalin there so we can send it off for pathology. Now I'll have a look down to see how things look now that's been resected. It's just a little bit of blood around but not too much. You can see there's still residual tumour but we've removed a large amount of that. What I'll do now is I'll use the cryoprobe again to remove more of that tumour to try and clear as much away to try and achieve a patent middle lobe and lower lobe. So here's the cryoprobe again and what it does is it'll just advance to that tumour, freeze it and that'll be able to grab onto pieces of it and we can remove bits. Not quite as big as the first bit that we had snared and cut through but uh, it removes tumour quite quickly and quite safely. Once again using the cryoprobe to grab a bit of that tongue of tumour, freezes and we can remove quite a big bit there. So this is called cryo-debulking and once I've done that a few times 
uh, I can remove a large amount of that tumor to restore patency of the right lower lobe, which you can see there, and the right middle lobe still has some tumor, so we can take some more of that out. But you can see now that we can get into that right lower lobe, and that will certainly allow aeration down there and help open it up and reduce infection. And you can see some thick mucus down there consistent with infection, which is similar to what we saw on the CT scan. Here's the final result once we've cleared out the middle lobe as well. You can see the middle lobe is now patent. There's still some tumour there. The idea is not to remove all the tumour, but it's a, to remove the tumour from within the airway to allow patency of the airway. So we get diagnosis, but also therapeutic effect. So that was a good case uh, showing endobronchial resection of a tumour with two different techniques. One using cryodebulking, but the first technique was loop diathermy. Um, to remove the, the larger part of it. So I hope you found that useful. I'll do lots more videos like this. I'm going to try and do them more frequently. So please like this video, leave a comment. And if you have a question, leave that. I'll answer it for you. And I'd love you to share this video with others. Okay, thanks and see you next time.